Simplest way of making SPI flash connection using Unlink NT. In my previous video, when I programmed 6121 and 6141 and other modems uh, with the 16 pin SPI flash, I always use the combination of this clip as well as this adapter board. And normally you may not find off the shelf you can have this combination. And the way I do it is I purchase an inexpensive clip like so and solder the heat shrink tube here and make the connection like so. Now, people still think this is very uh, difficult to achieve. So first, uh, I purchased off the shelf the clip like this in AliExpress. It's only cost about $150. And if you will program the flash that only draw uh, 400, less than 400 milliamps or 500 milliamps from 3.3 volt, then you can make a very simple connection and using 3.3 volt from the U-Link NT. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I make the connection uh, to this clip from U-Link NT without soldering. And that's very important, without soldering. And the, the way to do this now is we need to have a diagram. And the diagram here is, I already draw here, is I have the clock, DI, ground, uh, power, and CS and DO, the, the six pins I need to connect. So on the Ulink NT, it's all the way to the right side, IO0, IO1, IO2, IO3, ground, and 3.3 volt. So there are six pins from this unit can need to be connected. And since this adapter here is very thin, it's all impossible for me to make this connection. So the way to do now is I need to take off this shield of this, uh, this uh, adapter here. So I'm making six pins. So first I take this out look here and then the second pin is here then the clock pin and then the CS pin and the ground pin And the power pin. So after take this off, it will look things like this. Okay. And I found it's very interesting. You can almost make a connection like so direct to the, uh, the adapter here, but because they will make the metal contact and it's not safe. So I'm going to use the uh, simple tape here to wrap around it. So you need to properly uh, wrap the tape around the metal connection here for each pin, for each six pins we connect. So this is the wrap the power pin. I have finished make the connection and follow this diagram. I have the clock, DI, ground, VCC, which is 3.3 volt CSDO uh, connection made like this. And let's zoom in and take a look. Yeah, each pin is wrapped with the uh, tape and just make sure they do not connect each other. And let's go to the modem to see how we can make program it. So this is the how Ulink NT and the uh, clip is connected and to the 6121. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit, show you 
that this can be quite easy and no board, no soldering. So now I'm connect to the USB here. And just first few minutes, you need to see if this is very hot. If it is hot, then you need to unplug it. And since it's a brand new clip, it's, it's quite solid, rigid here. So now I can go to program here and let's do a backup. And save it, save it to uh, test. And let's erase everything. So everything, see if it's right or not. Yeah, everything is empty. Now let's put this back and I'm going to use S program. And let's see if data is all programmed. Uh, open. So I think we have a few minutes already and I touched the Unink NT here. It's not hot, it's a little bit warm, but it's very, very comfortable. So this video shows you it can be very simple to make the connection from the Ulink NT to the clip to the SPI flash programming. But I warn you though, you have to know if it is safe or not because if it's draw a lot more power from here, you may damage Ulink NT, but this is quite safe. And you do not necessarily need to put the WP pin and uh, hold pin high because on this board, they already do the job. If you fail, then you will probably need to look at the other options, like connect the WP pin high or, or the hold pin high. But the board like 6121 and 6141, I find it's not necessary to connect those two pins to high. And the simplest connection like so is, is more than enough to program it.